what's up people how's your mama doing well tonight man i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this video because it's been getting under my skin whatsoever oh, i know y'all thinking you got i got icp up flashing no i'm not gonna talk shit about them that's one thing i'm not gonna knock them down for who they are and what they stand for I'm just showing my props, a Wookiee showing the Juggalos props. And the reason why I'm showing them props is it's like this, man. I was sitting there watching a video a few nights ago, and that was on the Bill O'Reilly show. And he and Violent J told Bill O'Reilly that he wears face paint and he's an entertainer. And he said it on a, an interview that was done on ABC. He said the same thing. He's an entertainer, and and I've noticed they they up there trying to knock these people down for making music because people are dumb enough to take their words out of to sit there and go out and kill somebody. There's been cases where they be that people would go out and kill somebody and they call themselves jugglers or they have something have an ICP shirt on or paint their faces like they do and they go out and kill somebody and the fucking popos want to sit there and blame them for that it's the same thing with NWA uh, when Ice-T was back in the day back in the 80's singing about rapping about fuck the police I'm gonna stomp their asses down but you look at it now it's a group of Caucasians with face paints on saying the same thing as NWA and Ice-T and, and others did back gangster rapping back in the 80s and 90s and they getting really criticized and calling them gangsters all oh, their gangs and all this no no I, I said this before I even said it in my the video I did about the Facebook ordeal about the mother killer the baby because of Facebook you do not blame these people for what a person's did. You do not blame children for what, you do not blame these people for what a child did. It's like this. These entertainers are like the 5%. Like 5% to the, to the whole 100%. They're the 5% of blame. The kids are 15. They're the 5% the kids are 15 the parents are 80%. They on the low. They way down the line. They is. They got the smallest number out of the bunch. They down on the totem pole. Way down. They rap about violence. They rap about killing and murder and mutilation and shit like that. But they making money off of it. It's the same as when you watch a horror movie. It's got mutilation. It's got murder. It's got killing in it. Thrillers, horrors, same ordeal. They rapping about it. You see it on. You see that shit on in a movie when you see murder or mutilation and shit like that in a movie y'all don't say a damn thing but when it comes down to a rapper same as these ICP guys y'all want to sit there and call them gangsters they all want to sit there and say oh y'all that ICP is a gang no it's just a simple fact is it's not their fault that the kids are slipping up because they'll tell you quick I will I will post a link to an interview where they are explaining themselves and I actually I actually support what they got to say. They calling the people like the certain like certain uh, incidents been read off to them. They call the people that did these incidents crazy, loose nut, parents to blame. They didn't raise the kids right, and I kind of agree. The parents have something to do with it. It's, there's nothing like it's like it's when you know there's a group out there like ICP singing about killing and murdering and mutilation then you got ludicrous at 50 cent and you got others like them singing about bitches and hoes or shit like that or when I mean, you got Nicki Minaj talking about I'll eat your coochie out and shit like that y'all ready to jump the gun and say the most fucked up thing and blame them for your fucking fuck ups it's the parents fuck ups same as the else you cannot blame these, you cannot sit there and put all your, like, blame them for the whole shebang because your kids killed somebody or your kids fucked up and murdered or your kids fucked up and beat somebody down. It is not their fault. It is yours for letting them listen to it. It's your fault for letting your kids buy it. It's your fault for getting that shit for them for Christmas. 
if you see your kid wearing a juggalo shirt and they're under the age of 18 then you got a fucking issue that's on you he they tell you quick hey I'm an entertainer they're not the parents they're not the parents they're not there to raise your kids they're not there to be role models they're not there to hey man put on face paint go out. they're not telling your kids put on face paint go out there and kill somebody they saying they rapping about what they feel they rapping I can sit there and rap about something I y'all get mad when like parents got mad when Afro Man came out because I got high or when Snoop Dogg came out sipping on gin and juice people got mad when Ludacris said I got hoes in different area codes then you got mad when NWA came out with fuck the police. Same with Ice T. But he became the police on the TV show. Now you look at now you look at them rappers that was talking this shit back in the day. Look at them now. Ice Cube is doing the Friday movies. Snoop Dogg's a family man. Ice T is on Law and Order SVU. They dropped this shit off. They went from fuck the police to hey man, it's time to grow up. But they're entertainers. They do what they gotta do to survive. They rapping, hey, fuck this shit, I cut myself. Blah, 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 blah. There's no different from any other rapper out there, man. When you blame them for your child's fuck ups, then there's, then there's a fucking issue with you. You need therapy. You need to be in a straight jacket. Because one damn thing is, I will not blame these people for doing what they do best is wearing makeup and going on a stage rapping about mutilation and murder. I don't give a fuck if they rapped about killing fucking pedophiles on the sideline. I don't give a fuck long as they making their papers. I cannot blame these people. I'm not a juggler. I'm a Wookiee. Wookiee. I'm a Wookiee, not a juggler. But I will support a jug. I will support these two like a motherfucker. Because I cannot blame these people for a 17-year-old killing a 16-year-old and wearing a juggalo shirt and him calling himself a juggalo. I can't blame these two or blame the group for that incident or any other incident. I blame the parents for allowing this stuff to come into their house. I'm not calling it trash. I'm not calling it church music. I'm calling it music because it's what it is. I got friends that listen to it and they down with it and they rock out to it. I've heard a few songs, but I'm not a big fan of the music. I'm a big fan of them because of how they think and how they roll. How they think about shit. Like they tell you quick, hey man, I'm an entertainer. I put this shit on every day. It's Samuel Ludacris wearing them suits. He's an entertainer. He can rap about bitches and hoes. But he can turn around and be on Sesame Street. It's all about entertaining the people. It's not about... they See, one thing about ICP is they're not coming to your kid's house, putting a gun to their head, and say, go out and kill somebody. They're not doing that. They rapping for a reason, because they wanted to rap. They wanted to get in that music business, same as any of, anybody else. I'm tired of these people getting blamed for the fucking for your kids mistakes or other people's mistakes that was a what a 20 year old killed somebody and called himself a juggler it was like some 19 or 20 year old that, said, that did that every time a murder happened and somebody under the age of 20 or 19 or 18 just under the age of 20 the first thing they want to do and they wearing a juggler shirt or wearing a face makeup the first thing they want to do is put the finger in the ICP that's one thing they wanted to do. They want to put the blame with these people. And say, oh, they're a gang. They're a gang. Why would an entertainer be a gang? In today's time, why would any any entertainer want to be in a gang? Don't you know that can fuck your shit up? These people ain't no gang members. They just people doing their job, entertaining the people. Are you gonna stop Oprah from entertaining the people? Oprah, Oprah gave me a new car. And she, Oprah gave me a new car, so I gave somebody else a new car. And I'm blaming her for letting me, but 
buy somebody else a new car. Oh, I'm gonna blame Dr. Phil because he helped some. He helped me, so I'm gonna go out and help somebody else. Mm -hmm. Entertainers. Oh, I'm gonna blame Eddie Murphy because I put on a fat suit and I was making fun of fat people. Entertainers, man. That's all it is. Entertainers. You gotta draw a thin. There's a, there's a line between entertaining people and right there is entertainment and real reality the same as with fantasy and reality man there's a line that separates that shit these people on the other side that entertain I'm on the side well I'm on power well I don't know if I, I'm I kind of want to say I'm on this same side because I do YouTube videos but other people on the other side of the line of reality, like they sit there and they buy their music, buy their tickets to the concert, they go to Juggalo Fest, and they support these people. But when it comes down to it, they are not at fault for any child committing a murder while they're wearing a Juggalo shirt or face makeup or calling themselves a Juggalo. You cannot blame the people in ICP for that shit because one damn thing is, I can't blame them. Because they wasn't there. They didn't put a gun to the people's head. They didn't the one to say, go do this, and then that shit come back on them. They're not doing that shit, so people need to stop pointing the fucking fingers at them. Oh, they're a gang. They're a fucking gang. They're a gang. They're a gang. Okay, if they're a gang, why are they wearing face makeup? Like, it's just like, it, it, for real, man, if they're a gang, why would they wear face makeup? Like, I grew up, like, back in the day, only gangs there was was Crips and Bloods. Crips and Bloods. That'd be kind of hard to prove that ICP is a gang because who wants to sit up there and wear a Joker suit and paint his face like Joker color, put the green in the hair white face red lips red, uh, black around the eyes and be looking like the Joker walking around being the thug. I'm a Joker and I'm a thug. It's just like that Batman Beyond cartoon show. The Joker gang. You cannot sit there and call these people a gang. They're just entertainers, man. They put this, they put their pants on one leg at a time just like anybody else. They got a job to do just like me and you. And you cannot blame these people for your kids fuck up. It is your fault because you are teach. Because one thing is, it's your job to teach your kids from right from wrong. It's your job to sit there and give them morals. It is not ICP's job. It is not the Yin Yang's job. It is not Nelly. It is not Missy. It is not Buster Rhyme. It is not Ozzy. It is not... Rolling Stone, it's not Mick Jagger, it's not Nelly Furtado, it's not J Lo, it is not Nicki Minaj, it's not no entertainer. Uh, entertainer is not their parents, it's not your, not their, it's not kids' parents. Even though they got their own fucking kids, it is not, it's not their job to teach your kids from right from wrong. It's their job to entertain us. It is not Jenna Jameson's job to come over and teach come over and teach a 13 year old sex education it is not Ron Jeremy's job to come over and say this is how you fuck that is not their job their job is to entertain the American people so they can get paper just like we do I'm just tired of people pointing the fucking blame at these people because they wear face makeup they do music that's all they do it seems like every time somebody get in the movie bit the music business, they want to point the blame, oh, they're the, they, the, they murderers, they killers, they rapists, they all this and that because the lyrics of their songs. You judge them because their music? You do not judge people by the songs that they put out. You get around these people. You talk to these people. You hang with these people. You find out what makes them tick. You find out what they thinking about certain situations. That's how you sit there and judge somebody. You get to know them first before you pass judgment. And all these motherfuckers do, the fucking police, the fucking government, and the fucking parents, all they motherfuckers want to do is blame them because what the fuck they write on a piece of paper. Or what they say in a song. And that's just straight bullshit. That is just straight bullshit. Whatever they put to a B 
and and what they put on the album, that should not make you judge them any less of a person because what they put on an album, hey, they did that just to sell albums, man. That's making money. Their, their gimmick is to do what they do best, wear face makeup, and do songs about mutilation and murder. That's their gimmick. Same as a fucking Freddy Cougar movie. It's the same fucking thing. A Freddy Cougar movie is where you watch a man that's been burned kill somebody. That's that's no and that's how are you, are you comparing that to a movie when it comes down to it? Yeah, because there's always gonna be parents bitching about them. Oh, I there I I blame the music today. I'm tired of hearing that from parents. And next time I hear parents say. I blame ICP for what they did. Oh, the first thing I'm gonna say is I blame the dumbasses for going on TV saying I blame the I blame the ICP. I really do blame the parents. If a kid kills, I think it should be like this: If a kid kills a person because uh, he listened to ICP, I think the parents should go to jail too, just as well as the kid. That's how I see it, man. If a kid murder somebody because they love being a juggalo and they love to kill people a parent should go to jail just as well as a fucking kid should because it's the parent's job to watch out for their kids it's the parent's job to teach them morals and so morals and other things from right from wrong instead of keeping the lyrics from ICP entering your child's your child's ear you're letting them listen to it. So it's not ICP's fault that your child is listening to that music. It is your fault that the child, that you bought the album and you let them. You're letting them listen to the music. They're not letting your kids listen to the music because they're not in your household. They don't they are not the parents. They just make the money. They just make the albums, put it out there and get the money. It's your job to say, No, you can't listen to ICP. No, you can't listen to Ludacris. No, you can't listen to Tupac. No, you can't listen to Biggie. No, you can't watch this movie. No, you can't watch that movie. No, you can't play that video game. No, you can't play that. You can't do either none of this shit. But parents don't do that. They're too wrapped up of blaming them for something they didn't do. It was just like the same with Tukey Williams. Tukey Williams got blamed for a murder he didn't commit and he got killed. He got killed in California. He was sitting off in the penitentiary on death row for a murder that he did not commit. And Arnold Schwarzenegger killed him for a murder he did not commit. It's just the same. Y'all doing the same damn thing as governor, ex-governor Schwarzenegger. You're blaming this person for something that they didn't do. You cannot blame two, two guys or, or a group of people that's wearing face makeup because they doing rap songs and all this and that. You can't blame them. You blame the parents. That's the problem. You blame the kids and the parents. Like I did that Facebook shit. And I said the same thing. If parents can blame music, like violent songs, like violent music or sexual music or violent movies or sexual movies or violent games with sexual shit in it, then you could blame a Facebook. And then a lot of people jump my ass for it and say, oh, you can't blame Facebook because this woman murdered her child. When well, you can't blame ICP for these kids committing murder. It's just like that. ICP is like Facebook. You could not blame them for a, murder, for a kid murdering another kid. You cannot. It is the parents' job to watch out for them kids so they don't fuck up in life. Y'all probably want to say, Afro hey, Joe, you, why are you supporting these people so much? Because one thing is, I got tired of this shit, man. I'm tired of people sitting up there passing judgment on these people. They ain't, got, they, ain't, they ain't raising your kids. They don't live in your house. They ain't eating your food. It ain't their job to raise your kids. It's the job to make them music and mind their damn business. I wish I wish a motherfucker would. I blame ICP. Motherfucker, you dumb as shit. I hope your kids go do go to jail for murder. That's all it is. 
That's all it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe the Wookie. Ten like T I E. Follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, Af uh, CeeLo Jr. Two and CeeLo Jr. Three, and holler at me when you can. All right, peace. Look, like I say, if you like what I got to say, tell me what you think. Stick the to topic. Cause one thing is, it's all about uh, all about just showing everybody that ICP is really two guys or a group of guys wearing makeup making music it's not all about them it's not about them telling they ain't telling kids to go kill somebody that's them that's the kids they just sitting there making music that's all it is to it that's all it is trying to make that paper they they are not gangs because it'd be kind of funny they gonna be ripping that shit off of batman beyond and be the joker gang that'd be kind of silly but they cool to me, man. I ain't got no issue with them. I ain't gonna be. I, ain't, I would be a juggler, but I'm a wookie. wookie I, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> wookie. I'm. I'm sorry. I can't be no juggler. Peace. Love it. Afro greasy. Yeah.